guys, what's up? It's Angela, and thank you for joining JW Exodus Group YouTube page. Please like, subscribe, and share if you love this video. So today we're going to talk about a little bit of concern that people who are physically in and mentally out all sometimes say. And that is where to go for your spiritual food when you come out of the witnesses. And a lot of YouTubers have already talked about this, but I just want to put my two cents in because this is a topic of concern for a lot of people who are physically in and mentally out. The reason why I'm doing this video is because it took me about 15 years to figure out where I wanted to go to find God, if that is the word. And so I'm going to talk to you a little bit about my journey, but also give you some tips on how to go through your journey, but where, not even, I'm not going to tell you where to go. I'm not going to tell you where to go. And I think that's the first thing that is wrong. <laughs> It's not a where to go type thing. I know when we were in the organization or when I was in, our, in the organization, the thing is that we were always told that churches were wrong. You're gonna, churches do this and churches do that. They pass a collection plate. They are always talking about money. They're always talking about this, that, and the other. They're not run like Jehovah's Witnesses because we're better than them. The truth is, is that any church and the organization, Joe's Witnesses organization, is run like a business. They are all ran like businesses. Of course, your churches are nonprofit organizations and tax exempt. So what I've learned is that, and what I see in the church that I attend, is that you have committee meetings, you have people that come on, you have your deacon board, yes, and your deacons are sort of like your, your ministerial servants, but you also have... They also encourage the congregation to put their input in when it comes to things and matter of the congregation, like how to help people in the organ, how to help people in the neighborhood. My church, for sure, does a lot of nonprofit work in the area that we're in. We're in a black area. We're in a black neighborhood. So in that black neighborhood, we do a lot of work to help those in the in the in the neighborhood not even people who are part of our congregation and i say that because i've never seen jehovah's witnesses do that we always we used to go knock on doors and call that our volunteer work for the week but when something happened no one was there to help the neighborhood we stayed away from food banks we stayed away from volunteer services i know we all have horror stories about what we were told about churches in the organization and from what I can tell, that is completely not true. So let me tell you a little bit of story about how I got into a church again. But I definitely say take your time. Take your time. Don't just join another church. You have coming, leaving the organization. Step one is just leaving. Because when you're leaving the organization, you have been spiritually and mentally, for lack of a better term, effed. Okay? You have been abuse effed up because they have literally taken your trust your love your what have you turned it upside down fed you some bs and called it a day and expect you to dunk on doors for it no so when i got out of the church when i got out of Jehovah's witnesses it took i didn't go to church i didn't go to a religious organization or what have you for about five years i was just free as a bird and during that time i took me to it allowed me to figure out what I believed, what I thought God was, and to prove to myself what God was to me. Not to some from someone that was on a pulpit, not that was someone that was reading out of a book. It was to prove for me. And that's what I think when people say, make sure God is in your heart. That's what that means. You've got to make sure that this is right for you. And so about, I don't know, 08, 07, 08, the Law of Attraction book just came out. The Secret just came out. And I started hanging around a lot of Buddhists and Hindus. And I know, right? Totally out of the ordinary, not even Christianity. And so I learned how to meditate there. I learned how to 
really understand that I am, for me personally, and what I took from that is that Buddhists have certain rules that they live by, but not actually a book. And this is why I kind of pick and choose, and this is why I'm kind of agnostic in that I believe in mostly everybody and everything. Because so I've studied with the Buddhists, I've studied with Hindus. Yes, I... So with the Buddhists, I learned how to meditate. I learned how to find peace within me. I learned that there are things that you can talk to God for yourself. I don't need a preacher or an organization to tell me how to speak to God. There's a, in my studies, and you can study this for yourself, God, they say that God is within you. And God, you know, it's me. So if God is within me, I don't have to go to a church to go worship God. In all that, I uh, started training at a church. I started doing aerobics classes at a church. And this is currently the church I attend now. And I attend this church, one, because it's fun. I like it. It's encouraging. And the people there actually are fun to be around. And they're a community. They actually help out people in the congregation. I know for sure this is not something that I was told that was going to happen when I was in Jehovah's Witness organization. I know my first day walking in the church because they had an event and they wanted me there to talk about the not talk about the aerobics class and what have you and I'm like okay I'm walking into a church I was so scared oh my goodness and I actually got some pretty good knowledge that day some information that I really didn't need so when it came back to coming back I'm like okay cool it wasn't that bad yes we had to go pass our collection plate you know they passed the collection plate fine but don't they do that to watch our organization too? Isn't our little box that says, hey, your contrib contribution's here? Don't they ask for money well as well? I know for this past year or two, they've been asking for money from the governing body itself has been asking for money. So what's the difference? The people that are in the church that I attend and people have come to church, even the other churches that I've been to, I went to another couple of churches at one point. And they're, they're good people. They're awesome. They're just like you, me, and what have you. There's not a difference in that we have to keep it. And the one thing that I do love is that I can be myself around Brother Bear and not have to worry about him looking at me saying, oh, you wore a black shirt. And that's not whatever I, you know, what I think, what Brother Bear thinks as a, is what a Christian should do. So he doesn't go run and tell the elders. There isn't any of that in the, oops. <laughs> there isn't any of that in the churches. They all pray together. They all love together. It's all been very enjoyable. Yes, sometimes I don't believe everything that they say. I will say that they, you know, I didn't know that Michael wasn't Jesus until maybe this year. And so I've got to do a little bit more study on that. But take, in all of this, just take your time. Find your place. But prove, ask if you still believe in God. Great, cool. If you don't, cool. But if you do believe in God, ask God to show himself to you. And again, the way that God shows himself to me will not be the same way that he shows himself to you. Or to Brother Bear. Hi, Brother Bear. <laughs> The way that God shows himself to Brother Bear is not the same way he shows himself to me. 
And that doesn't mean it's right or wrong. That just means we have our own proof and we have our own way of taking God in. And I think that's the one thing that I gathered from being in a church is that everyone worships in a different way. Yes, I'm in a Southern Baptist church, so what happens a lot of times is that people catch the Holy Ghost. And <laughs> the first time I saw that happening, that was really weird, okay? I'm not one of those people that will, you know, run around and start screaming or whatever. But I do love and enjoy catching a tear in my eye and feeling that, that felt of love in my spirit. I love that. And I can honestly say I never got that in the Kingdom Hall. I never got that in the Kingdom Hall. It was like everybody was a robot in the Kingdom Hall. Like everybody was just eh, 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 eh. And I don't know if anyone's ever at worked at fast food. I've worked at Starbucks and Chick-fil-A. And if you've ever worked in fast food, you just go there, put the, put the bun on the thing and keep moving. When I was at Starbucks, it was cup, shots, serve, cup, shot, serve. God is an assembly line God. Each person takes him in differently. Just like each workout, I'm a personal trainer, each workout is different. Some people can't bend their knees a certain way. Some people can't bend their, can't move their arms a certain way. Each workout is different. The same way that each workout is different, each person takes in God different. And the way I take him in is that, you know what? I am God. I am God. God made me in his image or her image. Ah! So just like I look like my mother and I'm still an Emory, I am still God. Yes, certain things don't go my way sometimes, but that's always most times to the greater good of whatever I need at the time. So, anyway, thank you guys. Let me know what you think about this. I really want you, if you, when you when you are ready, when you are ready, try something new. Just try it. And no, you won't die walking into one. But I stress when you are ready. Because it's going to take some time to get out. It's going to take some time to do all this. It's going to take some time to heal. And like JW Critical Thinker says, if the building is burning, why stay? Just because you don't know where your next house is going to be. Your building's burning. JW.org, your building's burning. So why stay? You can worship God at home. You can worship Jehovah at home. And Jehovah will show himself in a more loving, in a more fulfilling, fulfilling way. And you will still be supplied with the spiritual food that you need and the things that you need I can tell you this I have been so blessed more now that I'm out than I've ever been coming in been in things even when I write things down I ask for it what have you literally one day my car got broken into and no, that's not because I'm not a Jehovah's Witness. People get broken into all the time. Anyway. And literally, I, the people, whoever was in there, they took my tablet and, some, and my wallet. The next day, I found one of my old uh, ID cards. Went to the bank, canceled everything. The bank gave me a copy of my ID. The next day after that, I got a new tablet. The day after that, I got, the next week, I got another new tablet. <laughs> the week after that, I got another new tablet. And two months later, I got my brand new i4 <laughs> that I, that my, my other tablet that I really wanted. My iPad that I wanted. 
And my boyfriend looked at me, he goes, how did you get an L but get four wins from one L? And I'm like, I don't know. But I got what I was asking for. There's been times I've been kicked out of a house and later on I had some place to stay. That same day, food, clothing, and shelter was always provided. It's always provided. So don't just think that you got to sit here because you don't know where you're going. Ask for help. Make a plan. But go ahead and stop hurting yourself by staying by just staying in the organization because you don't know where you're going. Ask God to provide. If you believe in God, great. If you don't, ask yourself. My boyfriend prays to himself. He told me that, and I like that. But at whatever you believe in, take your time, and let's figure it out together. I'm Angela Emery. You're stronger than you think. Make sure you join our Patreon page and support us on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Make sure you like and share. I will talk to you soon. Bye.